out in Fellside again. And uh, what I'm going to do today is going to do Alton Gale. It's a very wet day. Um, clouds are very low and you've got that sort of drizzly mist. Um, the best place to start with if you look into scrambling and stuff is um, as you approach the lead mine, you come to some ruins, you can see them in the background there. And instead of taking the path through the ruins, uh, and then across Silver Gate, uh, stay on this side of Silver Gate, you'll see the track. You'll see the track um, heading up Silver Gill, and then it crosses Silver Gill from here. And then carries on along the side of Ballyway, well, the foot of Ballyway Rig and takes you pretty much straight to the first mine level in Ralphie You can probably scramble up the, the first waterfall but uh, it require hands and feet to do that. Okay, and if like myself, you're with your dog and that's not going to be too easy. So, this is the easiest way up anyway. Really simple. Um, I assume it's going to be something to do with the old mine road with you know, where they carted the, the ore and what have you down to the smelt mill and stuff. So, uh, as we cross along here, you'll see the main mine markings um, and all the spoil on the other side of the valley. I'll try and show as much of the route as possible, but as I say, it's a very wet day, so I'll be cleaning the camera constantly, I would imagine. Hey, what are you doing? Come here. Let me, uh, up I go. So, we'll head off now, so we're going to cross, excuse the cigarette, we're going to cross Silver Gill, which is just a small jump. Come on, boy. Good lad. And as you can see, the path isn't too distinct, but it, it is in in that it's uh, it's like uh, it's like a platform, you know. So there's the main mine workings there, where a lot of people come to first. <coughs> oh, it's nice that we're out the wind now. You'll probably be able to hear me. But as you can see, it's like a platform here. And there's the. Uh, the waterworks there. You can see all the spoil from the lead mines and the beck below us. You can't see the work first waterfall yet. <coughs> Some signs of land slippage here. Yep. That's the Valley of Dale Beck. Right, come on then. Now as you get up to here you'll come to a rock face um, which you go under. It's a nice little place, nice secluded little place actually. As you'll see when we get there. You can see there's a path on the other side in amongst whoops in amongst all that scree and stuff. And below us there are the waterfalls. First of them anywhere. Just there. And as you can see this is that secluded spot I was on about. It's been hacked away. It's lovely. So, well done, sir. Scout up. Good boy. Good boy. 
So this bit's a little bit scrabbly. Nothing too difficult though, plenty of footholds. And we're practically at the first mine level. Yeah, that's how close it is. It's over this brow of this hill here. <clears throat> Come on. There he is. The first mine level. Come on, go on along there. Good boy. As you can see, there's a fairly well defined path here. And you'll notice that that path on the other side of the uh, of the gill takes you above this uh, this mine level. Which is why we don't take that one. We'd have to scramble down to it. Now from here, the uh, the route becomes a lot scrabbly, depending on which way you go. But uh, we'll go and have a look at the. Uh, What do you call it? The mine shaft. There we go. It's all blackness. Now I have got a torch with us today, so I'll get that out and we'll have a wee look. There's not really much to see. As you can see, it bends round to the right there. There's not a lot that you can see. Like the darkness just seems to <laughs> swallow up the light of this torch. Quite amazing though, when you consider how long ago it was made. And with hand tools as well. Amazing. So, that's the first mine level. Views here are quite nice. Yeah, it's a nice little, nice little cove. You can see, scout here. Don't go in there. Nice waterfall, lovely water. So, we'll uh, get ready for the next section. Get my bag on again and what have you. And then we'll uh, set off again. So, we're just going to head up these, uh, this cascade of small falls. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Stay there. Hey, stay there, boy. Stay there. Good Lord. It's gorgeous. Oh, sure. A bit. Good boy. Hmm. You've got to be careful on this bit because it is a bit scrabbly. Oh, 
So there's another level just there. See? It's a nice place. It really is. Let's go. This way, boy. <laughs> what are you doing? Come like? on, down the way. Here. Good boy. <laughs> Scout seems to always find the best route, to be honest. I should probably just follow him. Come on, boy. Come there. Good luck. Come on in. There's a good boy. There's a good boy. Hey, how you going? Okay, so just going to nip across and have a quick squint at this. Come on. Oh, you're stuck, aren't you? Come here. Come on. <laughs> Don't get themselves all tangled in rocks, are you? Oh. Come on fella, a little bit slippy. There you go, good boy. Nice view though, eh? Those cascades. Now I've been up that way where Scout's headed before. And I'm going to try not to go that way. And try and get round on the other side. Because this is a bit scrabbly this, to be honest. You know, it's hands-on and stuff, so... That's another level. Now, I don't know whether this is the level that is marked on the... Uh, on the diagram in Wainwright's book. Because he has the two caves on the same side of the... Uh, of the guild, so... I'm not sure that that's the one that he's referring to. I think the one he refers to is up there, but uh, we'll have a look. Whoop. Whoa. Really? There we go. There's certainly something there, silted in a bit, so that's probably the one that he's referring to. There we go. And it is under a tree, and it is about eight yards away from a wall, so I assume that's the one he's on about. You can see it is silted in a bit on the inside there, and of course he's got this Greek slab of rock there as well. Oh, lovely. So that's the two mine levels in um, Routon Gill. Come here, good boy. And the, what that is, I assume that's just a shaft. So we have to come away from the beck a bit here. And we're going to have a scrabble up here. Come on, Scout. Good boy. This 
see there's quite a lot of people seem to use this path or a lot of sheep anyway uh, it's definitely better than the uh, than the path on the other side oops see there's these see that's where I scrabbled up grassy and mossy, you know, it's quite slippy, so I'll try this ride this time round. Oh no. Good boy. <laughs> There's a waterfall. Oh, and voice is here. This bit's obviously a bit rocky. Come on up. Come on. Good boy. Ooh, nearly. <laughs> oh, this bit's a bit hands-on. Not too difficult though. Let's walk up a hill like this. A nice view. Oh boy. Flying in the ear there. Yeah, go on in. Good boy. <laughs> Thanks, Scout. Right on my finger. This way. Good boy. Quite scrambly through here, I have to say. It's lovely, though, isn't it? I think I'll probably cross back over here. Remember those. Uh, Hills there, and then back over onto this side. Right then, mister. Up. I'll see you. Yeah, it is slippy, isn't it, kid? This way, come on. Good boy. Good lad. Come on, now. you don't have to go in there, eh? you can go across here, man. You've done it. Oops. 
Yeah. Look at that. Look at that kid. Let's move on. This way. No, this way. <clears throat> Ooh. Let's go out this way, man. This up there. Good boy. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Thank you to Then up on the other side for a minute. Just want to have a quick look. I'll probably stop for a while rest actually. Come on. Oh, there you go. Good boy. Ooh, that was slippy. That's you. Under the yes, sir. Look, we've got. Hmm. We could have a little rest here, sir, couldn't we? Stay there. Stay there, sir. Hell. Quite slippy today. Crowd thumb. Well, it's quite a tricky bit, this. <coughs> There's all sorts of ways to get above this bit. Um, but from the point of view of the dog, this is the easiest way for us. Looks like there's another shaft there, look here. That's silted in as well. And another one here, maybe. Oops! Right, come on. <laughs> you found the best way again, did you? Yeah. Found the best way again, boy. Oh, no, that's just where that chock stone is. Yeah. Nice. Gonna have a squint at this, eh? Yeah? 
Uh, quite silted in that one. I would say that's probably what he was talking about, uh, Wayne Rice. Although there's no tree and not much of a waterfall neither. Yeah, just another one anyway. So. We'll be going up under this um, cliff face here. Looks like the best line of approach. So, what be your scout, come on. Oopsie daisies. That there. Good boy. Have a look. Well, the other side has a better path actually. Let's see what I can do here. Get down to there. There we go. Oh, that's fine. Come on in. Forward. Good boy. That's it. Good boy. Yeah, I think the other side would have probably been easier. Let's get a good foothold here. Does that look slippy? Ooh. Not too bad, though. There we go. Again, come on. Go <laughs> down here, it's less to fall, or less distance to fall, should I say. Got a big waterfall to come, I think. I'll have to clean that in a minute. We get past this. Yeah, I think you're right, Scout. I think you're right, fella. <laughs> a bit of a pool here, don't we, son? I think we're going to get our feet wet. Exit. Come on in. Good boy. Come on. Up. Up. Good boy. I don't think he needs to go that deep though, fella. There we go. Now let's have a look at what's around this corner. nearly in feet gills do you know I'm not far away top tip don't wear jeans where you're having to bend your legs especially if it's wet now this way son if that would be any better you'll probably get the blurred image but we're still in the gale at the same place. Scout! <laughs> I'm glad you were here, I'll tell you. Come on. This way, this way! Scout man! Come on! <laughs> Off your head! Good boy! Jeez! Good fella!
there's a larger waterfall there and that's it I think pretty much Stuck around the rock again. There you go. Oop, good boy. Good boy. Come on up there. Come on. Well, that's it. Pretty much this last waterfall and then we're pretty much in Thief Gills <laughs> mad dog you eh just fucking jumped that So it's a nice walk um, throughout the gill. I don't think I've come up here by the same route ever, any time I've come up here, to be honest. But, uh, I suppose most people will be saying that as well, actually. We'll sit below this slab of rock, actually, for a minute. And contemplate the weather. What do you say, son? Eh? Which incidentally is dreadful. Very wet. Leave. There's a sheepfold just up ahead, which I want to show you. As a point of reference, 
this is also a mine level by the way just over there there's no cave um, it's just a like I say just a level where it's uh, been dug out oopsie daisy should really watch where I'm going shouldn't I there we go, here's that sheepfold. Hey, somebody's made a nice seat since I was last year. Come here. Here. Scout. Scout. I'm not going to have it. Tell oh, here we are at the top of Routon Gill. And, uh, well, we're pretty much in Feast Gills actually. At this sheepfold here. Looks more like a ruin to me, but uh, it's marked as a... There's a beal there, sheep, sheepfold, so, yeah, anyway, so we're going to call it a day from here actually, and we're just going to go back by the path that goes down to Ballyway Rig, or goes over Ballyway Rig, um, and, uh, and then uh, back down to the car, as, it's, as you can see, the weather's, there's no point in going up on the tops today, you know, like I wasn't really planning to do much anyway, and I thought I might go up onto High Pike and come down by um, one of the other gills where there's uh, like levels and what have you. But, uh, it's uh, not worth uh, not worth it in this weather. You know, when it gets misted in like this, it's just it's horrible. So I'm not going to bother. And uh, so anyway watching this on YouTube thanks for watching um, I hope you enjoyed it I enjoyed it for, for sure um, it's it, it's a bit of a struggle in places route and gill you know but as, as as I've shown there you know you can pick your own sort of way up make it as easy or as hard as you like um, and especially if you've got a dog with you obviously and you want to make it a bit easier on the dog then there is ways to do that um, you don't have to go up the, the hardest parts and what have you so again hope you enjoyed it and again if you've been watching on youtube thanks for watching take care bye bye say to the yeah say to the viewers what do you mean no <laughs>